the mighty Atlantic fleet performs for its commander-in-chief. To the flight deck of the nuclear carrier Enterprise comes President Kennedy after reviewing 48 ships of the fleet from his flagship. It is a cloudless day off the North Carolina coast with a 19-knot breeze that whips up white caps as well as the trousers of sailors who line the rails of the ships. From the flag bridge, Mr. Kennedy sees 36 jets launched just one minute apart. The exercise simulates a hunter-killer attack on a submarine. Planes and ships hurl rockets and depth charges in a coordinated attack that soon destroys the lurking enemy. A few hours later, the president joins the visiting Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi of Iran at Onslow Beach, a sweep of dunes south of Cape Hatteras. Here, they are to watch the 2nd Marine Division storm an enemy-held beach. As bombers roar overhead, the amphibious craft pour out 9,000 Marines in 24 minutes. Within an hour, the beachhead is secured. It is a convincing display of strength for the president and his guest, whose country borders the Soviet Union. 